What's good guys, in this video we're going to learn how to do data recovery using a hex editor. If you're just trying to recover some pictures or documents, I have made a previous video showing you how to do that using Recuva, but in this video we're going to see how that program actually operates in order to recover those files. Let's jump into it. The program we'll be using is XHD and it's a free hex editor for Windows. Under Linux, I use Bless Hex Editor, which is amazing as well. But we're going to stick with Windows for this one, so you can go ahead and download it from this link. I'll post it below on the description. Now let's jump into the guide. I'm going to go ahead and fire up XHD since I already have it installed. There we have it. All right, now to start this off, let's go ahead and open an image just so we can have an understanding of what that file looks like in Hex. All right, there we go. I just opened a random image here that I have for my backgrounds. And when you pay attention, you can see here on the left, we have the addresses for the file in binary. And then here in the center, we're gonna have the hex content of each file. And to the right, we're gonna have the decoded text, which will be in ASCII. Now, one thing to pay attention is, each file is going to have a unique signature which is usually detailed at the beginning of the file so if you pay attention right here it starts ff and if we go all the way to number seven here we can find this signature here and this will be a common signature for jpeg files now this is key to remember that each file will have a different signature and once you're looking at the contents of a disk that's been corrupted or something, or it's been formatted over, you can just look for specific signature types and you can try to recover that file that way, which is what we'll be going over next. What you're probably thinking is, okay, so I have the signature and this will indicate where the file begins, but how do I determine where the file ends? Now there are special characters that will determine where that file ends and usually you can check that by opening a file of that same type as well. So if we go all the way to the end of this file, all right, there we go. And you can see it ends with the FFD9 characters in hex. Now what you can start doing is comparing different files and see if they have the same opening and closing signatures. And that way we can build a pattern of how the files start and how they end. And based on that information, we can learn more about the hex and how to find these files on a hard drive that's not working anymore. So let's go ahead and open another image here just so we can verify this. All right, so I'll open this image over here. And you can see they both match the same starting signature. And then when we go to the end of both files, let's see if they terminate in the same fashion as well. Yeah, there we go, FFD9. So there we have it. Both files have identical opening and closing signatures. So this gives us a little bit of an insight into specifically JPEG files. Let's say you're looking for a different type of file, maybe a document or a specific file type that a data recovery program isn't necessarily looking for, all you have to do is open that file in the hex editor, learn about its opening signature, learn about its closing signature, and based of that information, you can then do a data recovery attempt using a hex editor. All right, cool. So where does that leave us? Let me go ahead and open up this USB drive that I have over here. So, this USB drive has 15 gigabytes, and you can see here I have a bunch of images copied to it. Now, what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and format this. There we go, let's format it, FAT32, start. Format complete, great. Now we open it again and you can see there's nothing here. You can't see any of the files. Now let's jump back into the hex editor. 
So here in the hex editor, we can go ahead and click on the disk icon over here. And let's open the files USB. All right, so you can see here, this is the hex content of that USB. And if we keep scrolling down, you can see that all the data is still in there. So just so you have an idea, this sector over here, this is what it would look like where the file truly erased and there was zero data on it and it's unrecoverable, it would be all zeros. And that means the data is gone and it's been overwritten with zeros and there's no way to recover it. But you can see as we keep scrolling down, there's still a bunch of data in there and we can go ahead and attempt a recovery of some of those pictures. Now, how would we go about that? All we have to do is, let's go back to the JPEG. Here is the opening signature. We're gonna go ahead and copy this. There we go. I'm gonna go all the way to the top and click here and we'll do a search and we're gonna do find. Here on find, let's go on hex values and we'll go ahead and paste the signature. And let's do, you could do a search all and that would identify that signature in the entire file for every time it's find that signature. But I'm just gonna go ahead and find the first one so we can see how this is done. There we go, so we found the signature and we're gonna go ahead and right click and do select block. And the start offset is gonna be this address over here. So this is where the signature starts. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that for now. We'll hit okay. Now what we have to do is, let's just go ahead and search for the closing signature, which if you remember was FFD9. And we'll search for that. And here we go, we found it. Now, based on this information, we can right click over here on this address and select block and we'll do start offset and we'll paste the opening signature. So this is the address for it and this is the closing address and we'll hit OK. And we have that entire hex code selected. So let me go ahead and copy this. Now we can click here to start a new file and we'll paste it. Hit OK, yep. And let's do save as desktop and I'll call it test.jpg. And let's save it. And now we can pay attention to the desktop over here. And there we go. And there we have the image. Now, if you were to proceed and recover more files, you could just keep doing the same thing and that would be copy the signature and then search and find the next value that has that same signature and you do F3 and you can quickly glance through all the files. So here we found another image. So we can just do the same thing again and we can copy the starting of the block which is this address, okay. And then from here, we can go ahead and search for FF, oops, D9 and locate that. So this is where it ends. We can right click over here, paste the starting address, and we'll go ahead and copy that. Create another new file, paste it, and let's do save as test2.jpg save it and there is another image called test 2 there we go another image now one thing you might be wondering is are these files identical to the originals and that is something we can check using the FC command utility so let's go ahead and do that just to verify it but I'm gonna go ahead and open my backgrounds image here and I'll copy this image here, which is identical to that. And this image, I'll copy the same one as well. There we go. So let's cd into the desktop and we'll do FC test and we'll do 1177 
and there we go no differences encountered that means that both files are identical in their content and just for good measure we're gonna go ahead and test the other image that I copied FC test 2 and 118 and they're both identical as well so this was just an introduction into data recovery using a hex editor and it just gives you a broad perspective of what you can do using a hex editor and a great introduction into using that tool to your advantage. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time.